Lizzie here. I'm so excited to show you how to put a machine in bypass and I was giving, given the wonderful opportunity to do it in real life. So I will start the video and I'll be hanging out in the corner there and I will narrate everything. Uh, the machine that I'm using is the B Braun Dialog Machine and as you can see I have a real life fake dialysis patient, but I do have a real life, real life dialysis machine. Obviously there is no blood in the machine, but we will get started. Mr. Pink says that he has got to go to the bathroom. Usually when they have to go to the bathroom, it is urgent. So you can't, you want to have practice and get good at doing this. Some of the supplies that you will need, you will need a saline bag, two syringes, a recirc over here, a recirc, recirc uh, peanut, connector thing, tape, and I would also add alcohol wipes to your supplies list. All right, so Mr. Pink has to go to the bathroom. I am going to go up to the machine. I am going to press stop. I'm going to change my gloves, and then I am going to help Mr. Pink. I'm going to start by doing kind of like a fake rinse back, like at the end of the treatment, where you start a rinse back. I'm going to flush the arterial line to keep it patent. I'll also tape it real good before they get sent to the bathroom. And then I am going to connect it to the connector right up here. And then I'm going to unclamp both clamps and then I am going to start the pump. I will also put the machine in bypass. This is going to stop the timer, stop the cleaning and put the machine on pause. You can tell it's on pause because of this UF rate is zero right here. So you will no longer see this clock counting down. I'm going to rinse back their blood. Once their blood is rinsed back, I have them in a sitting position and I'm going to get a blood pressure before I move them out of the chair. I get a good blood pressure. <laughs> Look at my glove is all ripped. <laughs> And once their blood is rinsed back, I have a good blood pressure. I'm now going to clamp my venous lines. I'm going to flush the venous line. And then, oh, what a great, look at the space on those needles. And this is where I grab the recirc. So I've got the recirc here, a little slow-mo action for you. And I will connect it to the blue. I will unclamp the blue clamp. I will grab my red line, my red clamp. I'll clamp that, disconnect it, and now I will connect it to the recirc. So I've got it connected like that. And I also wanna make sure that all four clamps are unclamped now. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four clamps unclamped. I'm gonna start the pump and I'm gonna make sure this is in bypass. You can tell that this I think this machine is not in bypass, you can tell here. So I'll make sure that goes back into bypass. And I'm gonna, going to start the pump. So the pump is going, it's just, oh, I guess I was ready to restart it. Okay, before you know, they come back to the bathroom, I'm going to get a sitting blood pressure. Best practice would be to escort them to the bathroom in a wheelchair, even if they can walk. The last thing you want is somebody going from a laying to a sitting to a standing position in a hurry going to the bathroom and then they fall flat on the floor and pass out. Best practice would just very much encourage them to use the wheelchair to go to the bathroom. This is something I, uh, learn from nurse Jamie. Thank you, Jamie, for the, for the tip. All right. So now they're back to the bathroom. They're sitting in the chair and now they are ready to get started. So if I back up a little bit, you see me now I'm clamping all four clamps. All four clamps need to be clamped. One of the most common mistakes I see is people forget to clamp the saline and then you hook them up and then you end up giving them a liter of saline. And then you're like, uh Oh, you know, like, oh crap, I gave a liter of saline to a dialysis patient. So you only have to do that once and then you will learn. So I'm clamping all four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I would also, I'm sure you guys already noticed this. I'm not wearing all of the correct PPE. I should be wearing a shield and I should be wearing a jacket, a lab jacket, but I didn't want to wear those things because I thought I looked cooler like this. Okay, continue. All right, I'm washing my hands, I'm cleaning my gloves. Mr. Pink, maybe I should, is that a real good name for my patient? Tommy is his name. So I, you can see here, if I back up a little bit, I made sure that 
my line so they were moving around they're back I want to make sure that my fistula my needle is still in the fistula so I'm going to pull back on the needle to make sure that it is still there I get a great pull back and the other thing that you will notice is there are a lot of connecting and disconnecting of the lines so some of your policies might say before I hook him up whether it's a fistula or a catheter is I need to wipe the the red and blue line I need to wipe those and clean those before connecting them back to the patient for infection prevention so you notice that I missed that there all right let's continue all right unclamp unclamp oh the game of trying to get the lines to stay on the table that's why you need to tape it real good oh what a great venous line pulled back so easy I'm going to reconnect them Whew, back from the bathroom and now we can get the timer restarted Okay, Lindsay, you can do it. Oh, did it. Nailed it. So now I'm going to change my gloves, clean my hands, and now I am going to start the pump. I'm going to take it out of bypass. I'm going to get the, the pump speed up to the prescribed blood flow rate. So what, the other thing besides leaving the saline open is you, people will forget to take the machine out of bypass. If it's in bypass, you'll have yellow lights here. You need to take that machine out of bypass. It has happened to me where I have forgotten to take them out of bypass. 40 minutes goes by and that timer has not gone down and that dialysis patient is not happy. And again, you only have to make that mistake once and you will always remember. So get that clock ticking and get that blood flow up to its prescribed rate. And that is how you put the machine in and out of bypass. Thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned. I am also doing a video on uh, Dial as a Reprime. Thank you.